and again, I'm assuming what they're doing is they are um, they're showing us the simplest radical form. So like what the exact value is. So if I'm given 85 here, what the only thing is divisible by, it's divisible by five, right? It's not an even number, so we can't divide by two. It's not divisible by three because eight plus five equals 13, and that's not divisible by three. So in this case, I'm divided by five. So I would get root five times what's 85 divided by five. I'm just going to simply just use my calculator here. 85 divided by five here is root 17. So I have 5 and 17, and they're both prime numbers in this case, which means I actually can't simplify root 85 into a, 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 a simplified radical form. So in this case, root, root 85 is all we have because I can't have, remember, in simplified radical form, I have an integer, and I also have a square root, right? So I can't write, it does not equal, it equals this, but it doesn't, like, this doesn't, sh like, tell me anything about this problem here. So it's just root 5. Uh, times root 17, which is also root 85, right? So again, it doesn't pr it doesn't show me anything here. But what I can do is um, I could use the uh, method as solution, and I'm pretty sure that's what they did uh, with this uh, with this solution here. Um, or actually, they didn't do the method as solution, so they just left it as root 85 or root 5 times uh, times root 17 here. Um, but what we could do is uh, like our previous solution uh, for the square root of um, of 85 is what we can do is we can actually do some sort of method as solution, right? We can divide 85 and we can find whatever squares um, squares come out um, to that first. So I could actually, let me just show you um, briefly, but we've kind of already done this problem here. Um, but I'll, I'll kind of show you what uh, what we're working with. So I'll just do, I'll just do like two decimal points or something like that. So we have, uh, we're gonna put 85 here. Um, I, I'm looking for a square that uh, that is the closest to 85 here. 9 squared equals 81. That's closest to 85 without going over. So we should have 9 here, 9 here. 9 times 9 here is 81. 85 minus 81 here is 4. I can bring down an imaginary 0 to help us uh, with our solution here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, multiply 2. Uh, I'm going to multiply 2 by the... Um, uh, uh, to the, uh, to the, um, shoot, what's the word here? Divisor, divisor is the word I'm looking for. No, but two to the divisor to get 18. And I'm doing 18 times something equals 40. Uh, the closest number here is two, right? 18 times two is 36. So I have a, I have a decimal place now here. Uh, 18 times two here is 36. And then as you can see, it, um, it kind of goes, uh, goes, goes on in terms of, uh, I can bring an imaginary zero down. I get 18 times 40 here is again two, and I'm only, I'm only going to do two decimal places. So this here is four, and so on and so forth. So approximately, this here, uh, the approximately approximate value of uh, root 85 is approximately 9.22. So again, you can use the method as solution, or you can use the um, the uh, exact values depending on what the question is asking here. Um, so the solution here says root 5 times root 17, which is what I got. That's perfect. And none of the factors of 85 is a perfect square. So they just stop there, which is totally fine. Um, 9.22 would give me the method uh, using the long division solution. So I'll say great solution. And analysis, um, if I were to use long division method to find a decimal, I would get 9.22 as my solution here. So the solution here is correct.